Hey, what's up? Grumi Warrior, Jason Yun, back with you again. Hope you're having a fabulous evening wherever you are and whatever time it is. So if it's morning, good morning. If it's afternoon, good morning. Good afternoon. Wanted to make a video. So we've, as you know of, or as you've been seeing, my posts have been in regards to light quite frequently, and this one is no different. I do believe I am the first of all the gyms in the central Ohio region to do this. And yeah, so I wanted to make an unveiling here on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, wherever you're watching this. What's up, Katie? What's up, Doug? Thank you for the thumbs up. But I'm outside, and we're going to go inside the gym, show you what we have done. I don't really refer to my place as a gym or more of a studio group fitness training that kind of stuff but let's step into the gym and see what we have done so, how are you doing all right so let me close the door here and we are going inside and boom there it is so no blue light or blue light free gym Okay, so uh, we've got the yellow bulbs here, and then we also have a couple of infrared bulbs up here. So I'll be getting a lot more, or probably two or three more uh, red bulbs in here. Whoops, hold on. Uh, red bulbs in here, but we have completely turned off the blue fluorescent lights. So if you work, whoops. It's hard to control. If you work in an office or something like that, then you're more than familiar with these uh, double two-time or four-time fluorescent bulbs, which has blue light, which is completely destroying you. So my coach, Dr. Jack Cruz, he's my basically my health coach, my Yoda, my guru, and he... I posted on his forum and I showed him the lights and he said he would never ever go to this place when it had these fluorescent blue lights on. And he also said, if you want to help your clients, you can't send them into hell. And that's basically the mindset shift that I had to have in regards to blue lights because it's so much more important than the food you eat and the exercise that you do, okay? Um, so with that, and basically since December, I've been trying to figure out a way to make this place a lot better to work out in, not under a bunch of blue lights and crappy lights that's gonna destroy your uh, melatonin and destroy your skin. And uh, at the beginning, when I went on this journey, I didn't really know the science. Uh, but about, I would say, February, January, around that time, I started really learning about blue lights and the danger. And that's why we have switched our lights. And again, I'm pretty sure we are the first first gym in the central Ohio area, 99.5% chance. I'm sure we're the first gym to do this and take away the, the lights. Because um, back in late September, I started no blue lights. I started just working out under either red light, black lights, or no light. And also, if you've seen my post, sunlight. So I try to get out, do my workout as much as I can in the sunlight. So the main reason we want to turn off the blue lights at any point of time of the day is because we have something in our eye called melanopsin, and we also have it in the skin. And melanopsin was discovered in the eye in 1998 and in the skin just very, very recently in 2017. Okay, so we didn't know that we had that in the skin. That's in the skin and subcutaneous fat. So melanopsin is our blue light receptor. Okay, um, but you see, I thought you were saying blue light is bad. So blue light is bad when it's not in combination with red light. And where you get a combination of blue and red is from the sun, okay? When you have 
the fluorescent lights on, like these type of lights on, that is just blue. There's no red, there's no other colors in the spectrum. So the sun's got a bunch of other colors, orange, cyan, indigo, um, red, purple, UV, that kind of stuff. Okay, so for our melanopsin receptors to work properly, it needs blue combined with red. If all you get is blue, then it's going to destroy your health, it's going to destroy uh, your circadian rhythm, it's going to destroy your melatonin, which is going to destroy your sleep, which is going to cause issues down the road. It's going to cause your mitochondria to basically get destroyed, which we don't want. So that is, uh, let me give you the tour. So we just got a bunch of lamps set up in the corners, and then we've got a couple red lights down the middle. So if you're not familiar with red light, so red light therapy is it's big, it's huge, because they've shown that red light can actually penetrate 10 to 30 centimeters into the skin, and they've shown that blue light can penetrate uh, anywhere between four and six centimeters. So that's why it's important to protect your skin. If I was like at a grocery store, I would have like a scarf or like a turtleneck or something like that, because your thyroid sits right about here under your Adam's apple, Adam's apple just about one centimeter under. So blue light, if you have thyroid issues, if you have metabolism issues, if you have energy issues, this is one of the most important places to protect. Okay? So I just wanted to show you that, let you know how we are different at Improvement Warrior Fitness and Athletic Revolution Hilliard. And yeah, so we are moving forward with this and we are going to be, I'm going to be learning as much as I can and educating you on the dangers of the blue light. You've got to protect the eyes. That's most important. Four most important areas of your body, your eyes, your skin, your gut, and your lungs. Okay? So I'll be talking more and more and more about that, but we have to protect it from the blue light. Okay? Especially if you're on a computer all day long or you work in an office building that has these lights, all that stuff. So it's been my mission to figure out a way to do this. It's still not as good as uh, no light or sunlight. So the best lights are going to be sunlight, then you got no light, then you've got fire or candlelight, then you've got like the kind of bulbs we have, the red light bulbs, the amber incandescent bulbs, the yellow uh, sleep light bulbs, okay? But um, when you have these fluorescent lights, it's basically telling your body that it's noon because the color temperature of fluorescent blue lights is usually around 5,500 to 6,500. And yeah, that's basically the color temperature of solar noon or one o'clock. And we don't want to do that. So every time you're exposing your skin or exposing your eyes to that, especially at night, then it's basically telling your body, hey, it's 12 o'clock. It's not time to go to bed. So it's going to destroy your melatonin. And you destroy your melatonin, it destroys your mitochondria, which causes a downfall from there. So if you have any questions about light, about anything, about health, so big things coming. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Stay strong. Stay positive. Be the improvement warrior. Protect your eyes. Protect your skin.